Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. For today, my children, we're going to continue working once again with the letter U. Remember, it's very important that each day we review the letters because we are this close to finish Kinder 1. That means that we are going to get into Kinder 2. Now, the reason why it's important is because in Kinder 2, we are going to see the complete alphabet. Como pueden ver, pequeños, el día de hoy, vamos otra vez a repasar nuestra letra U, que es parte de las vocales. Ustedes se preguntarán y se dirán, no, teacher, ¿por qué si ya las vimos? Ya no sé, pequeñitos, pero recuerden que es importante seguir trabajando con las vocales porque ya estamos así de cerca de que determinar quién es uno. Quiere decir que ya falta poquito para estar en Kinder 2 y recuerden que en Kinder 2 vamos a ver todo el abecedario completo quiere decir muchísimas más letras pero no podemos ver el abecedario completo si no nos quedan claro estas vocales por eso es muy importante que las sigamos repasando en estos videos que sigamos trabajándolas en los Teddy Books que en casita pues ustedes con sus papitos repasen todas las vocales que hemos visto. Ok? Very good. So, remember, the first question of today, how many vowels are they? ¿Cuántas vocales son? They are five vowels. Very good. Ok? The letter A, the letter E, the letter I, the letter O, and the letter U. Now, for the letter U, we also saw several objects, including the umbrella and the unicorn, which was the object of yesterday's video. Do you remember what is an umbrella? The umbrella, the object that we use to protect our body from the pouring rain. Recuerden, umbrella, sombrilla. The other object was the unicorn. The unicorn is the animal that lives in fairy tales, looks like a horse, and has a horn right here on its forehead. Recuerde que un unicornio es ese animalito que aparece en los cuentos de hadas, en esas historias bien padres que nos cuentan nuestros papás. El unicornio, pues, que parece un caballo. Ok? Very good. So, today we're going to continue with the letter U. And I made an extra I made an extra exercise that is not part of your teddy books nor in printed pages. It's just prepared specially for you. El día de hoy vamos a hacer una actividad que les prepare a ustedes pequeñitos. Esa actividad recuerden no está en el teddy book, no está en hojas impresas. Okay, so for today we are going to to use two objects. Vamos a utilizar, vamos a hacer uso de dos objetos para esta actividad. Letter U and the numbers. Ok. Aparte de utilizar la letra U, vamos a ocupar los números. Recuerden que les había dicho, chicos, que aunque ya hayamos finalizado de trabajar con los números, eso no significaba que ya no los íbamos a ver. Al contrario, es muy importante seguir trabajando también con ellos porque nuevamente cuando ya lleguemos a Kinder 2 vamos a trabajar con muchos números más grandes. ¿okay? Por eso también es importante que lo sigamos repasando. So, for today, as you can see here, I have several U's. Tenemos muchas U's. ¿Ok? In each one of the squares, en cada uno de los cuadrados, we have several U's. Tenemos varias U's. Under each square, abajo de, de cada cuadrito, de cada rectángulo, abajo, vamos a poner el número de U's que tenemos. ¿Ok? For this, remember, we have to count, first of all, the, the vowel. Tenemos que contar las vocales, cuántas tenemos en cada cuadro. Y abajo vamos a poner su nombre, su número. ¿Ok? 
Very good. So for this, remember you have to help the teacher count. Ustedes tienen que ayudar al teachercito chico para contar, porque pues a veces a mí se me olvidan los números. Entonces con su ayuda vamos a poder resolver este ejercicio. Let's begin. So for the first square, para el primer cuadrado, let's see how many U's are they. Vamos a contar la letter U. ¿Cuántas tenemos? One, two, three, four. How many letter U's are here? ¿Cuántas letras U hay aquí? Four letters. And what's the shape and form of number four? ¿De qué forma tiene un number four? Like a chair, como una silla, upside down, al revés. That's the number four. Very good. Number four. Okay. Let's continue with the next square. Next to, once again, we have to count the letter U's. Vamos a contar cuántas son. One, two, three, four, five. They are five letter U's. Now, do you remember what's the shape and form of the number five? Remember, the shape and form is like a fat person, like the teacher Jacob who loves to eat donuts, pizza, so that's why I got a huge stomach. The number five, the fat person. El que tiene la barrigota. Okay, so let's continue with the next square. For the next square, let's count letter U. <coughs> one. That's it. Only one. And what's the shape and form of number one? The one that looks like a soldier, which is well standing, it's always saluting. That's number one. So we have one U. Remember, we are watching letter U. Recuerden que estamos contando la letra U. Okay. Next two, let's see how many are they. One, two. Okay, so number two. And do you remember what's the shape and form of number two? Like a snake. Very good. The animal of the jungle. Next two. Under, on the second row, en la segunda fila, we have a lot of letter U's. Let's count them. One, two, okay, remember for this, the teacher Jacob wants to hear all of you. Because even though we are through video, I can see your responses. Recuerden chicos que el teacher Jacob quiere escuchar a todos. Aunque estemos mediante un video, yo puedo ver a todos ustedes pequeñitos y los puedo escuchar. Así es que con todas las fuerzas, bien fuerte. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many letter you saw here? They are 10. Okay, very good. And how can I make number 10? Using two numbers. Number 1 and number 0. We put them together. Cuando los juntamos, it creates number 10. So, number 1, number 10. Next two, let's see how many are they. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They are eight letter U. Now, number eight, remember, is like the snowman. Two circles, one up, one down. It creates number eight. Like Olaf from that movie Frozen. Let's continue. Next two. Again, help the teacher count. Ayúdenme a contar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine letter U. Now, what's the shape and 
form of number nine. Like a balloon. Remember the balloon is an oval that is full of air which requires a string so we can grab it. Otherwise, it floats away. Recuerden que un globo es un... Es parte de la familia de los juguetes, es un óvalo que está lleno de aire, que necesita de un hilo, porque si no, de lo contrario, se va. So that's number nine. And finally, the last square. One, two, three. How many letter U's are here? They are the three letter U. Now remember the, letter, the number three is like a snake. Okay, I made a mistake here, children. Where is it? Okay, so number two, remember, is the duck. Okay? Aquí me equivoqué. Ay, teacher Jacob. Number two is the duck. Recuerden que number two era el patito. Number three is the snake. Ahora sí, number three, the ugly snake. The dangerous snake. The animal of the job. Okay, very good. Now, remember the letter, the vowel that we reviewed today. Lo que verán ustedes, la, la vocal que vimos sería lo hoy. What letter is it? What letter? Letter U. Very good. Letter U. Now, the activity of today. Again, it's part of your teddy books and it's located right here, okay? Now, as you can see here, we have the whole page is all covered with letter U. So what you have to do, remember grabbing your pencil properly to trace the letter, okay? Recuerden, para esta, para esta actividad, tenemos que remarcar todas las letras U que encontremos. Most important, while you are tracing, don't forget to repeat the name of it so you can memorize it, okay? Recuerden eh, repetir el nombre de la letra mientras remarcan para que de esa forma no lo podamos aprender mucho mejor. Letter U, letter U, small U, small U, small U, okay? Very good. So this is the activity of the now that's it for today, my children. I'm very happy because you helped the teacher solve this exercise. Remember, in some occasions, the teacher Jacob forgets the numbers. A veces al teacher Jacob también se le olvidan los números. Por eso es muy importante que ustedes me ayuden a resolver estos ejercicios adicionales. Porque ustedes son muy inteligentes. Y ustedes ya saben los números. Entonces, qué bueno que sigan ayudando al teacher Jacob. So, we we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Remember, I love you very much from the bottom of my heart. Take care. Bye. Goodbye.